everyone, my name's Heidi Postel. Welcome back to A Plus Maths. All right, let's have a look at number five. We'll go through it methodically, slowly, carefully, so that we don't get anything wrong. And we know that we just really have to move from left to right and do what it tells us to do. Remember, we're starting from here, starting from here, we're ending over here. We know that D and C need to end up being the same point. That's what we know so far. Yeah? And I'm going to teach you one more little trick that we can spot along the way to help us as well. So I'm starting. And from my starting point, I can either go along route A or route B. A should take me 1, B should take me Hopefully, everybody's starting to get the hang of it and I can just tick them off as I go so that I don't lose place of where I'm up to. It's hard for me to keep my hand over here while I'm doing it on the board because then I have my back to you, so I'll just tick them off as I go. Next one, from A to C, on route C is 3, that's that one. B, from B to D. From B along route D should be 4. And then D and C should have been the same point. Now I keep eliminating the bottom line. This time I'm going to get rid of that one just to show you that it makes no difference. And I'll make that one. Don't forget that it was C3. C3 time. Now they're the same point, D and C. They come to the same point. And then they should go to E. Don't forget to put our directions. We will need those eventually. Now I'm going from B to F. Well, we're going back up to B. Where's B? Here. There's root B. So B can go to F. Okay. Well, you can have it going anywhere, but I don't want it going inside my graph. That's going to make it all confusing. So I just have a branch coming off in any direction. B to F. And then I have from F, I've done that, I've done that. And then I've got, once I've done F, I can go to G, from F to G. Should take three, that one. And then E to H, where's E? Up here, E to H, that should take one. And then E, G, E, G. So I really want to connect these two, don't I? E, G. E, G have to be the same point. So just go like that, right? And make them the same point. And then say that that was, what was that? That was G, that G3. Then I have E, G going to I. But hang on a minute. E on its own was supposed to go to I. And now I want to have EG go to I. So that's a problem because I now am trying to say that EG goes to I. Now, a lot of you would think that that's the answer. And then I would get to the end. And I could join that one to the end. But it's wrong because I've got EG goes to I. Now EG goes to H. But E, G wasn't supposed to go to H. It was only E that was supposed to go to H. Isn't that right? So that means that I've done something wrong here. There's something not right there. Let's just go back to where we were before, before I drew in that other line. So here I had G3 and I had H going off E. H1. So somehow I need to make E and G the same point, but I don't want the E and G to interfere with the E going to the H. And that's when I need to have what's called a dummy. We did have a dummy in the one before, but it was a different dummy because it just had to not interfere with one line becoming the same as something else and then you lost an activity. Here, if I join these two, I don't lose an activity, 
but it then creates a problem for H. Because to get to H, I do not need to have first gone through G. So what I need to do is to create a dummy from E to G, from E to G, and then from there I would go I2, and then they would go to the end. And because they're both end points, I really should join those together. Now, that's quite tricky, isn't it, that dummy? This dummy is really quite tricky. And we need it because E is a predecessor for H getting to the end, but E is not a predecessor for the G, E going to the end. If you don't understand that, I can see why. And the easiest way for you to understand it in the meantime until you fully comprehend what's going on is to look at the chart. And you can spot very quickly that there's going to be a dummy. Because you see here how there was an E and E next to each other? One after the other. That's how you can spot a dummy. So we would know that there's going to be a dummy from E to G. So I knew before I even started that there was going to be a dummy from E to G, and then that point there would continue to get to my root E. Let's have a look at another one so that you can see it, spot it yourself, and hopefully draw it on your own without me telling you. All right, let's have a look at number six. I think. This question should bring in everything that we know and just consolidate everything to make sure that we actually kind of understand what's going on. We know we need to start here. We start, we end. And what else do we see? We know that DC has to be the same point. And hopefully we understand that that means because there's a C and a C that there's going to be a dummy there. Let's draw it. We start. From our starting point, we need to have two options or two roots going from A to B. Then from A, we can take the root C. And from B, we can take root D. Here I have C, D goes to E. But of course, C and D don't connect. So I would think that I need to join C and D using a line, and then C, D would go to E. Makes sense? No problem. That should be C. Now I'm supposed to have a dummy from C, or from C to C really, and then C is supposed to go to F. But of course C comes down here. So that's a problem. I must have done something not right. So I'm going to get rid of this change that I made. There's my C that I had originally. But I know that C and D have to be connected so that they can go to E from this line here. That means that I need to create a dummy so that it can continue on root E. But I also need C to be able to go to root F on its own. That means that I need to still keep the line for C, but I need to create a dummy from C to D so that C and D can be the same point at some stage to connect to E. Then I need F, E to go to the end of G, which really means that I need to have F and E being the same point. So I'll move one of those, and then that becomes G. So the complicated bit was here. If you don't fully understand it, maybe watch it again. But the main problem here is that you need to have CD connecting to E and you need to have C connecting alone to F. And the only way that you can do that is by creating a dummy from C to D so that it can connect to E 
and also have it alone so that it can connect to F. I know that that's confusing and they're not always that difficult. But remember, I've shown you all the different types from the easiest to probably one of the most difficult that you should encounter. So good luck with that. Thanks for watching today. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe below.